Hi guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chills Relax Playing Content, where we talk about our plans and we just try to grow them how we want to, the best we can. So if that's something you can relate to, hit the subscribe button, let's be plan friends. So, Vlogmas, day 10 of my climbing slash crawling philodendron collection is gonna be my philodendron squamiferum. So I bought this plant as, um, it was like a full plant from Costa Farms, from I think it was Lowe's, and it was in like those big baskets, like the $50 basket thing with like the white cover pot type of situation plastic. So I bought that. It came with a bunch of plants in it. Um, I have one, two, three, five plants in here. So I think that's how many. I think I've only lost like one or two plants from like all of that. Um, <clears throat> Again, because, you know, there's like a, a, um, a little like acclimation process. So I'm just cutting out some old dead stem stuff really quick. Hopefully I'm not killing this plant. And then I'm going to try to show you this whole thing in the frame. We're going to try to do like a one arm thing. <laughs> um, this is a fast growing plant. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. You don't need to buy a fifty, you know, dollar huge plant of this. It will propagate fast. It will spread itself out and fill out a pot very quickly. So you can start with a little cutting of this and get to a very big plant relatively soon. So part of the appeal to the squamiferum, squamiferum, are these fuzzy red petioles when they first come out as you can see, and then they fade to a green uh, petiole. But look how fuzzy that is. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see how fuzzy that is? And it feels really cool. They feel like plastic bristles almost. And then we have, oh, I'm, I'm caught on the camera. That could have been bad. And then we have the pretty shaped leaves. I love it. And, uh, yeah, so this is what she looks like. Um, I do have to start like fertilizing her because she's starting to put out smaller leaves. Um, and that's because they're all like in one pot. It's been a while since they've gotten any type of fertilizer really. And um, they have outgrown the sticks that they're on. I actually have new three foot poles I'm gonna be replacing the smaller poles with. So let's do that together real quick, hopefully. Hopefully we don't break anything. I'm actually gonna try to put it over here. As you can see, like this side of the plant is against the wall. <laughs> Where this is the plant that's like out and facing all the light. So we're gonna go in from behind with the stakes and try to um, kind of pull it more up because the plant is starting to like lean and it's getting a little top heavy and uh, that's never good. You don't want your plant falling over and breaking and knocking other plants over because it happens. All right, so we can pull out this old stem, old uh, support bamboo stick. All right, so I have, I, I originally have three stakes in here. One of the plants back here, the one all the way in the back is still short. So we're gonna keep that one with the smaller stake, um, but we're gonna replace the two other stakes that are still supporting like two of these plants. All right, let's get ooh, you over here on this side. Oh my God, <laughs> ah, they're gonna be tall, they're gonna be tall. All right, so let's see. Let's do like right here. I hope you can see. Sorry if you can, this is like a crazy, crazy angle. All right, so I got that one done. It's kind of leaning still. All right, and then we have this one over here, which is actually, I don't know if you can even see it, like really long, like real long. And it was actually connected to the other stem, other support stake because it had outgrown the stake that was in here. All right, so we're gonna try to put it back over here and try to 
lean it up more vertical. Let's see. So do you guys have any of the squamiferums? Does anybody else have a squamiferum? Um, how do you guys say squamiferium? Because I say squamiferium, but other people say squamiferum. I don't know how other people say it, but they say it different. So how do you say it? Oh, okay, let's, <clears throat> we gotta detangle these branches. Ooh. Oh man. Uh, do you guys have snow where you are yet? There's no snow on Long Island yet. Um, but uh, yeah, no snow yet. I'm a little, a little nervous for the snow to show up. I have a long commute for work and I don't wanna have to drive in snow for a long time. I don't think anybody wants to. So we'll see. All right, let's pull this up like this. Oh my God, it's crazy. All right, let's just, we gotta support this somehow. <laughs> All right, got one right here. Okay, and another one up here. I'm gonna have to stand. We gotta stand for this, guys. Let me see. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing up here. But we're trying. So I don't know what to do with my plants once they go past like these these bamboo poles because past the bamboo poles is hitting the ceiling and. Um, yeah, we just, I'm gonna have to cut the plants after that. And I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like really cutting my plants. All right, so that's, I guess as good as we're gonna get. Here, I'll try to, this is how tall. This plant already up here, if I like force it, is as tall as the bamboo stake. So I'm just gonna let it kind of like, and then it'll pull itself back up for the light, but yeah. So this is what she looks like. Yeah, yeah. This is my day 10 vlogmas of my climbing philodendron, crawling <laughs> philodendron tour, collection tour, whatever, whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments below, how does your squamiferium grow? And uh, until next time, relax, plant, peace out.